Act One unfolds in Tempe, Arizona. The Fiesta Bowl, 24 unanswered third quarter points for Michigan. Two touchdowns for quarterback Jim Harbaugh. Then they hold off a late Nebraska rally. The Wolverines win, 27-23. Act Two in Pasadena. Eric Ball, 19-year-old freshman, scores a record-tying four touchdowns. A near record 228 yards on the ground. And another victory for the Pac-10 over the Big Ten, 45-28. Now the finale as we go to Miami. Play like a champion, a sign that's been part of the Oklahoma locker room for decades. Every Sooner taps the sign before he takes the field. The Oklahoma Sooners, number two in the nation, still smarting from an upset loss to Washington in the Orange Bowl a year ago. Tonight, the Nittany Lions of Penn State come in undefeated and number one in the country, but they are a decided underdog. UCLA, a runaway victor, 45 to 28, and the Rose Bowl just completed at Pasadena, you saw on NBC Sports, and here is Massimo Monke into the ball for Penn State. A spitter, and it's taken by Stafford, Anthony Stafford, the freshman, and Jamel Holloway from Carson, California. He's been absolutely a standout since taking over when the regular starter fractured a leg. Ladell Carr, a power back to fullback, second leading rusher. Speed at the halfback. Spencer Tillman, a breakaway runner with power. And the other back, Patrick Collins, also a sprinter. Jackson, Keith Jackson, a sophomore tight end. Some rate is the best in the country. Derek Shepard's the flanker. They don't go to him often, but he can get deep. Anthony Stafford now in the starting backfield for Oklahoma. First and ten for the Sooners. Comes a hit from the freshman, minus two at second and 12. From the 18 yard line of the Sooners. It's time they hit out to about the 22 yard line. Big offensive line, Eric Pope is 275. Guard Mark Hudson next to him is 280. The center, Rick Ewell's an undersized center. The starter, Travis Simpson, went down with an ankle fracture. He's only 250. Paul Ferrar is 260 at right guard, and Anthony Phillips could be a great one at tackle. He's only a freshman at 280 pounds. Holloway ties up, and third down, and Penn State shuts down the bones. Huh? Jim Coates, the sophomore, is back. Very, very good return man for the Nittany Lions. Jim Coates with the Penn State. Unbeaten, number one in the country, but a decided underdog. Get the ball for the first time in this scoreless game. D.J. Dozier hits ahead, but a penalty marker goes down. There was. Referee IA, all the officials from the Southeastern Conference. John Schaefer is the junior quarterback, completing only 45% of his passes, but he's 54-0 as a starting quarterback dating back to grammar school. Steve Smith, a power back, averaging five yards a carry, and he can block D.J. Dozier, the breakaway runner, averaging almost five yards a pop. Eric Hamilton, one of the wide receivers, they don't go to him often, but he can get deep, and so can the other Ray Roundtree, averaging 20 yards a catch. The Oklahoma coaches are very impressed with Dean Demidio, the tight end for the Penn State Nittany Lions. He's caught four for touchdowns this year. Nothing, nothing, Nittany Lions in white. After the penalty, it's first and 15. Dozier, change of pace move. Offensive line, Stan Clayton, left tackle 265. Mitch Farratt, next to him, weighs 260. The center is Scott Radisek. His brother, an All-American at Penn State, now at Kansas City, he weighs 255. Todd Moles is the anchor of the offensive line. And Shane and Chris Collins is second down and 11 for Penn State. The ball crosses midfield. Barry Switzer protesting from the moment the flag went down. We have now first and ten for Penn State. Well, he gets football right up the middle. Tony Casillas, maybe the premier defensive lineman in America. He got the Lombardi Award, a consensus All-American at nose tackle. Next to him is 275-pound tackle Jeff Tupper. Steve Bryan at 260 is an outstanding tackle for the Sooners. Linebackers very fast. Reed and Murphy on the outsides. Kevin Murphy get All-American engine. There's a breakaway run for the moment. Playing with the ball is Steve Smith.
Smith again. The inside backers are Paul Meliazzo. And All-American Brian Bowsworth, who got the first Butkus Award as the best linebacker in the country, and he's a sophomore. There's the secondary men. They switch them around. They'll play sometimes corner, sometimes safety. They've not given up a lot of yards to the pass, excepting in that one loss to Miami. Pitch back. Dozier. On first down, he's working hard to the 30-yard line of Dozier, two for nine. Second down and about five. Play fake. Papers got a man. Inside the 20 yard line, it's down to the 18 for ball to win this game. They got 12 there as the Nittany Lions are now well in field goal range. Out pattern, deep throw. The Ray Roundtree running down on the field. Right now, the Nittany Lions are moving on offense. Scoreless game. Dozier. He dislocated an elbow in the final regular season game. Eighth play of the drive coming up. 47 yards in the first seven for Penn State. This is their first possession. It's nothing, nothing. Schaefer cocks and fires, and Ron Fleet comes down with the ball. As it oh. Now first and goal for underdog Penn State. First back, Smith. He's in, it looks like. No signal yet, though. They go. Second down and goal. This time it's on the book. Tim Manoa. Straight ahead, pop. And the Penn State Nittany Lions... After the most intense series of practices that Joe Paterno team's ever had, get out and take over the football game at least early. But he never played Oklahoma, but right now with the extra point up and good by Massimo Manca, the Nittany Lions look every bit the number one rating they have. They take a 7 to nothing lead. Look at this big fullback fire in there. Tim Manoa is hungan. He wants to be separated from those people who are Samoan on a friendly basis. He likes the end zone, though. Massimo Maka ready to kick off for a second time. 8.17 to play in the first quarter. Hits a spinner. Anthony Stafford. He can go. Out to the 29-yard line. Bring back right is Patrick Collins. Penn State's defense shows a lot of fronts. Lots of switching. No free tacklers. They don't know who to block sometimes. You know, Holloway is in deep trouble. Shane Conlon, All-American. Playing tonight. Second down and 23 for the Sooners. For the run they go and get it out across the 20 is Lydell Carr. That's all. A 41% pass and he throws in frequently. And not here. Not there either. Janelle Holloway not done until he gets out. Across the 35, 6 3, 2, 20. Winchester punting for a second time. Arking putt. Coates takes it at his 20. Gets a block. Not trying to outrun the pursuit. And Oklahoma looks good on special teams. Pound him out football. Penn State 7, Oklahoma nothing. Penn State second possession of the game. Schaefer gives off, and the Sooners stop a showdown. A matchup of heavyweights. John Schaefer looking from inside his 10. Whoa, man, he almost gave it away. Third down and almost 10. Gets it to his tight end, Danidio, and the Sooners. John Bruno, a standout punter, hits the ball well downfield for Penn State. Derek Shepard at his 42. And Shepard gets his lateral. Is it clean? It appears to be as the ball is... They're trying to confuse Jamel Holloway, doing a pretty good job. Pitch back, ball on the field, and doing a good job covering it is Spencer Tillman. It's a big, tough-nosed tackle, Mike Russo. Tim Johnson, next to him, a 250-pounder from Sarasota, Florida. Bob White, a very fast defensive end. Shane Conlon, we've seen make a lot of plays already in this game, an All-American at outside linebacker. On the other side is Don Graham. First and uh, second down and about 12 now for the Sooners. Damon Stell is out as a flanker as they go to the fullback. Lydell Carr. There's Trey Bauer from Paramus, New Jersey, a junior just 212. Rogers Alexander's 210. These both great open field tacklers. Duffy Cobbs at one corner. Lance Hamilton gained some All-American honors at the other. Ray Isom, a top-notch free safety and the hero back. The rover, Michael Zordich. Last time in long yardage now. Jamel Holloway ran the quarterback draw. Holloway on third and nine. 
Loops it out. He's got his big tight end, Keith Jackson, who is chopped by Ray Isom. But the first Oklahoma first down. Penn State leads in the first quarter, 7 to nothing. Right here, par as the Sooners now start to gear up. Got the Buckus Award. Par breaking tackle, some excellent blocking line. Second and less than three. Lydell Carr, 150 to go, first quarter. Look at this. Spencer Tillman got the call. Down to 120 to go in the first quarter. Penn State 7, Oklahoma nothing. Penalty knockers all over the field. Feet on both sides of the ball. He's aligned to the right. 88, Keith Jackson. They like Carr again. He didn't get there. Rogers Alexander. This is the ninth play of the drive. Penn State leads 7-0. Holloway. Tomlin trying to run him down. So is Zordich, and Zordich is going to get him. Face mask against the defense. Whoa. Second down and seven coming up. Ten-yard line of Penn State. Fifteen seconds to go in the first quarter. The Nittany Lions lead 7-0. Leon Perry. To... So the Sooners of Barry Switzer are challenging, but after 15 minutes, Penn State is a 7 0 leader. Third down and four for Oklahoma. Can't play the drive. So I'd say it's been lunchtime. Ready to try it is Tim Lasher. He had 26 yard attempt. 20... He drills it up. And it looks good. It is, and the Sooners are on the board with 14.35 to play in the first half. So the tension eases a bit, but the Sooners, heavily favored, still trail number one Penn State. It's now a 7-3 game. 59 years old, he's one of the oldest head coaches in the country. Where's his success well? And right now, it's the Nittany Lions returning the kickoff. Jim Coates is drilled at the 15-yard line. 7-3 Penn State. Incomplete. Ooh. DJ Dozier takes some hard hits. Schaefer on third and ten. Ray Roundtree was going for the ball by the position. Derek Shepard is the deep man. Bruno hits another big punt downfield. Shepard back at his 39. Here, they're mainly underclassmen, both of them. Personal foul call against the Sooners. So number two, Oklahoma, favored by over a touchdown in some estimations, trailing seven to three with the ball. Spencer Tillman. Showing that breakaway speed. Second and 14 now for the Sooners. Jamel Holloway is able to get out of this game with his uniform and his life. Almost five and a half a carry. Has minus eight on five rushes. Home run ball. Jackson has it. The All-American tight end is going in. And Oklahoma takes the lead on a 71-yard touchdown play. Jackson ran that pattern over a backup safety. Ray Isom still on the bench having his knee tape. They fed it out right to the final gun, and this one's got a long way to go, and the Sooners look sharp. Got a big scoring play. Jackson's longest reception on the payoff end of a 71-yard touchdown pass play. He openly predicted in the week that Oklahoma was going to win by seven. Right now, they've come from behind to lead by three. As the kickoff, moment of thanks for Jackson right there on the promised land, the end zone. Here's a hand up now. Dozier runs the ball, and he's stuffed at the 19-yard line. Coming out now with a second down and over 10 play from just inside their 20. John Schaefer, a 45% passer, lost 
Gets the ball. Is it a fumble? with the arm forward. It was forward. It now comes third down and just over 10 for Penn State. Failing 10-7 early in the second quarter. Manoa. Draw play to one of the slowest running backs you have on the team. Well, they're going to rethink that. Next possession right now. Derek Shepard has the ball for Oklahoma. Bouncing off people and bouncing the wrong way for the Sooners. He's well, they work once for 71. But for the most part, Holloway's been running for his life. This time he gives up to the fullback. Number one, but down by three at the moment. Second down, a long seven for the Sooners. The Sooners, after hitting the big play, their last possession, 71 yards for a touchdown. Holloway to Jackson, have it again. And again, first back through, gets the ball. As Winchester hits it well. He takes a long time getting into it. And first Coates catch, with coach. a fair catch. First and 10, Penn State. John Schaefer on a screen goes to D.J. Dozier, but the Sooners are right there. Second down and 17 now. Big strike. Back to the 23. Close to a first down. Home of the favorite is leading number one right Penn State 10-7 here. 30 yards. Boom back. Takes it up and gets the first down for Penn State. Oma has now outscored its opponents in the second quarter over the season. 140 to 10. Intercepted by Sonny Brown. Inside the 30. Not done yet. Inside the 15-yard line of Penn State. So Schaefer, whose throws were close to being picked up earlier. He's in the law of averages caught up with him that time. Now Oklahoma go to the run. The orange ball. Holloway. Shane Canlon just couldn't wait any longer. Holloway, end zone, man's open, lost ball. Coming off the flank was Lee Morris. Lasher hit earlier. This is a 31-yard attempt coming up. 5.24 to play in the first half, and Oklahoma looking to extend its lead to 13 to 7. It's like the Sooners do. So Tim Lasher now hitting on 17 of 23 this season, and the Sooners lead by six. Todd Thompson kicks up for the Sooners. Jimmy Coates going to bring it back. And gets it across the 20 to the 23. The biggest and most spectacular halftime show in college football every year at the Orange Bowl. It's coming up as right now the Lions of Penn State. The rest, nothing. John Schaefer on a rollout. Blitz against him, and they get him at the 19-yard line. Look at the speed of Troy Johnson. A setting up to throw about five quick steps, and he was on him. And now it's going to be third down and 13 for Penn State. Picked off again. Tony Rayburn all the way down inside the 10-yard line. So Schaefer on consecutive misfires. The Sooners going first and goal. Look at that hit. Free ball. It looks like Holloway got it. 13-7. Sooners and Crimson and Cream lead the game and go to the run now as they take it down inside the 10-yard line. Penn State coaches are preached discipline in defending the wishbone. It's an offense predicated on deception. And that time, a quick hit. That could take a toll as the game wears on. Very humid. 21-yard field goal by Lasher. And Lasher, a guy who gets it done. Three for three on field goals, and the Sooners all of a sudden have opened up a 16-7 lead. Oklahoma kicks it off after Winchester's third straight field goal. And here comes Penn State. Blair Thomas running the ball back, crosses the 20 and gets out to the 28-yard line. Manoa, he's big and he's fast. Second and four. Schaefer having a problem. Five for 13 is John Schaefer throwing the ball for 37 yards. Been intercepted twice. Out of Moeller High in Cincinnati. On the run, he throws it away. It's 
Stops the clock with 113 to go. Touchdown, a long one and three field goals. Short punt by Bruno. The Sooners let it hop. And Oklahoma probably will look to run the clock out. Fullback's been the guy. Up back is Leon Perry now. And Jamel Holloway calls his own number. Going into alignment at their leisure. Holding to a 16-7 lead with 22 seconds to play in the first half. Odds makers favored high-scoring Oklahoma coming in. The Sooners big, fast, and confident. In the scoring 16 unanswered points in the second quarter. If he should decide to change pitchers down the line, it's unlikely he would until late in the game. But if he should, his backup, Matt Kisner, that goes into playing time. Oklahoma gives up the ball. Nine seconds to go in the first half. And the impact tackling of Penn State makes something big happen right now. Nine seconds left. First half. Penn State trailing 16 to 7. Schaefer wisely throws it away as those Massimo Manca. Then a big job boot and field goals for the Nittany Lions. This is a 27-yarder. That'll bring them to within six and does. So with one second to play in the first half. The Penn State defense gets the ball, and Manka puts it through the upsides two plays later, and Penn State is right back in the hunt, trailing 16 to 10. They'll kick it off with a second to play. Ball is down on the kickoff. The first half ends. Penn State's big following here, 15,000 in to support the Nittany Lions in the Keystone State. As Penn State goes to the locker room, they're pretty good, though, when they go to the drawing board. Joe Paterno in Penn State as Barry Switzer takes his Sooners to the locker room, holding to a 16-10 lead. The most spectacular halftime show in college football is coming up from the Orange Bowl. How about that little schooner before Trump? What was it they were saying that was on horseman-like conduct? On horseman-like conduct last year. Now the Sooners kick off. Penn State will get the ball. Jimmy Coates at the seven-yard line. Out to the 30 and 210 with breakaway speed. Dozier. And the Sooners are right there. To Second and nine now for the Nittany Lions at their 31. Dozier breaks it for the moment and hits out close to the 40. That they need less than a yard. Got to get the ball to the 40 for a first down. One, two, and three tries. Oklahoma with the number one defense in the country, allowing 8.5 points a game. Penn State got seven on its opening drive, but none since. Now on second down and eight. The Nittany Lions ready to roll it from their 32, and here's Schaefer. 42-yard line. That's yeah. They're going to call holding. That's about as far. Been 47 years since Penn State has had a losing season. Do you believe that? And Oklahoma has the all-time winning first 47 straight game. Running high with the ball is Michael Timpson, a sprinter from Miami, and he crosses midfield, gets down to the 48-yard line. Dozier. Now it's just 20 yards and nine carries. Baker gets time and he dumps it up to Dozier on a second and nine play. Good recovery by Schaefer and a strike to the video. It's a first down. Recall he stumbled after taking the snap and recovered to hit a first down throw. Dozier. Now that's Smith who gets the ball. Rusher for Penn State is Steve Smith with just 23 yards and eight carries. Second and nine for the Nittany Lions. Good throw. Coming out was Brian Cyberlink. This the 11th play of Penn State's drive. Schaefer takes it himself. Head down. He's ahead for a first down. To 12th play of the drive coming up. 9-10 to go. Third quarter. They're going to air it out again. A long ball. Timpson's out there. Intercepted oh. again. Sonny Brown comes down with his second of the night. Into double coverage again, Don. Oklahoma. Penalty was signaled against the Sooners in the last play. Penalized half the distance to the goal, so they start out 
Almost backed up to the goal line. Penn State's not giving him much. Another marker goes down. You got to wait to see what the defense does. Another illegal procedure. The Sooners leading by six, but in trouble deep in their own end as the Nittany Lions stuff the run again. They'll keep pounding all game long, looking for turnovers. Sucking down and almost ten. Holloway living dangerously. This is George Finkel, our director, John Gonzalez. Executive producer Michael Weissman with us as the Sooners try to bust it out and the Nittany Lions come hitting hard. Snapper drills it. And Winchester does too as Jim Coates pedals back reverse, to his 49. Reverse. Kimson gets the ball. There's some blockers and Michael Kimson crosses it up. Oklahoma has the ball at the Sooners 42 yard line. Gift wrapped. Interceptions and a fumble there by Timpson. His special teams turn over the last down. The punt return because 999 is not enough. Right now they go right back to the first back. Fullback Leon Perry. Mixed in with all the All-Americans. Jamel fires on the run. A well-drilled ball. A free ball on the field for the moment. Derek Shepard had it. He caught it. He lost it. And Penn State has the ball. Oh, Let's they're, see if they rule it. No, they do not. Incomplete. Him. See the see the running back out of the backfield. Oh, I pitching think he's back. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to pitch I it think back. You're right. Patrick Collins was the trailer. Oh wait a minute. They call that a reception. Ooh. That, that's pretty shaky right there. It was a reception. It would seem to be a fumble, but the Sooners get the ball and a first down. Now Holloway turns the corner. The first big gainer he's broken. Get, but the Sooners have the ball, and now they have it first down at the 32-yard line of Penn State. Leon Perry gets the call. Duffy Doherty used to say there ought to be a Hall of Fame for officials. They win a lot of games. End up straight ahead, and the Sooners belt it on down to... End up to Lydell Carr, and he's down inside the five-yard line. Now the Sooners leading by six, challenging late in the third quarter for another score. Holloway gets back. Ball on the field, and let's see, it's Oklahoma's ball, but... There's no foul. Joe saying, hey, my guys are going for the football. You Jamel Holloway with more than the Penn State defense to contend with here, but they get the snap off, and Carr takes it down to the six-yard line. Nobody's seen one yet, except in white and blue on the football field. Here now is a throw, and it's overthrown to Jackson by Holloway. 22-yard attempt. Last year's hit on three previous field goal tries from 26, 31, and 21. All right there again. So he has now set an orange ball record with four field goals in this game, and it's 19 to 10 Oklahoma. The Rose Bowl run a little long. They started talking at 845. But right now, Oklahoma has the lead, 19 to 10. So Penn State needs big plays with 309 to go in the third quarter. John Schaefer moved his team, you'll remember very well. The last possession in the third quarter, only to throw a goal line interception. Here now is a handoff. Manoa tries to break one. And the Sooners knock him down. They're going to have to start throwing against this Oklahoma defense because they don't give you the pass or the run. Number one in America. And a leader by nine on the scoreboard. Here's Schaefer ready to put it up. It certainly affects the outcome of the national championship, which Oklahoma at the moment is leading the race for. The nine-point lead here over top-ranked Penn State. Here's a throw and a catch. Let's see a little more of that for Penn State. All three for 13 yards of Hamilton's receptions. Dozier breaks it for the moment and is shut down. Penn State needs to hit a big one, though, and Oklahoma's number one defense doesn't give them up. Manoa runs. Second year at the University of Oklahoma Medical School. Pitch back. David Clark gets ahead and he has a first down for Penn State. That's going to do it for three quarters of play at the 1986 Orange Bowl. The score is Penn State trailing the Oklahoma Sooners 19 to 10. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. The big difference was is the four turnovers by Penn State tonight. That's why Oklahoma leads. Dozier's going to put it up. Wide open man. But he oh. can't get to the ball. 
Dr. Paul Meliazzo of the Sooners won't be back tonight. He's in street clothes on the sideline as Dozier breaks one on second down and 10. Video sets to the right. 89. They could be looking at him. How about a screen? Tip ball. That's great. I mean, that's a dream for us, and uh, that's that's the only thing that's keeping me from tears because uh, with the national championship, that's that's something we work for all year long. Thank you very much. At the 1986 Orange Bowl in Miami, again, this game, the signal event in college football for the fourth time in five years, the national championship on the line. As Spencer Tillman breaks it for the Sooners, and he's all the way out across his 40. Tillman with a 20-yard gain has now gained 32 for the night on five carries. The rushing yards have come with great difficulty. Liddell Carr has taken a pounding to an offense based on quickness and deception, but they've given it to the fullback more than anyone else. Just a straight-ahead dive. Time second back through. Tillman's ridden down. And 36, Oklahoma. Petra Collins, first down and plenty more as he breaks it inside the Penn State 40. And they won back-to-back -back national championships in the 50s. They did it again in 74 and 75. New Orleans heavily favored Miami, talking national championship going in, was blown away. First and 15. Look at that strike. Sooners with that array of great runners that can break any play the distance. Jamel Holloway calls his own number, working hard. He's down. Bumble. Inside. Free ball. Penn State they got it. Have it, and so does the referee. So with 11.05 to play in the game. Penn State now back in business. Penn State has to get it in the end zone. 11.05 to play, trailing by nine. Smith, the fullback's not going to get far. He can give you a header. <laughs> Second and 10 is Schaefer rolls. Lots of pursuit. And lots of hitting from the Sooners. Schaefer now 9 for 21, throwing the ball for 70 yards, but the big number, the three interceptions. Throwing a strike. Canidio has it, but there's virtually a way short of the first down. John Bruno's booms some beauties and hits another for Penn State. Ricky Dixon will run it back. Not far. Oklahoma that far away from the national title to be the third under Barry Switzer as head coach. End up goes to Stafford to see what the defense can do on second down and eight coming up. Oklahoma leading 19 to 10. A very quick handoff that time. Lost to him 14 nothing in 72. End up in the ball as soon as they have a tremendous kicking game. Field goal kicker's been perfect on four tries. Fumble by Coates. Did he get it? He did at the 41 yard line. Tough as it, Bob Greasy, to come in at this point. They're off the bench in the game. You have to throw in to win. Get to Bob in a moment. It's right now. It's first and 10 for Penn State. Kisner dropping back. Dozier gets it on the swing. And these Sooners are striking. They swarm to the ball. Aether, this pass for only 76 yards, was intercepted three times while he was in for the Nittany Lions. Dozier breaks one. First down, Penn State. He's down to the 47-yard line. Them. Same is true for Penn State. Another big play by a Sooner defender. Greenbacks. Yes. Pitch. With the ball to Smith. He's got a Penn State first down to the 33-yard line. About one, but Miami was beaten 35-7 to in the Sugar Bowl by... Tennessee. Scott Radisick is the young man at the penalty, but will be called on now. Penn State will have a first down. It's a dead ball foul. They now start out in a jam, down by nine in the fourth quarter, 525 to play. And he's going to throw now on first and 25. Whoa. Cyberling has it. He's inside the 30. Kisner has now put the ball up four times, completed three for 36, and he's ready to fire again. Another strike. Cyberling. Out of bounds for a first down. Boy. Clark is hit hard by Donnie Jones. They have to get in the end zone, though. They get back in this game. Gesner takes it to the 10. The winner of this wins the national championship. A backup quarterback is in for Penn State. 
Matt Kisner, and he's completed four or five for 49 yards. Looking in the end zone, he takes a hard hit from Dante Jones on third and four. He got only a yard. Massimo Manka, a long-range bomber. He's hit once tonight. This will be from 27 yards. He's hit from 26. Very effective from way out if need be. No Not good. effective at all there, though, as Maka hooks one. The Sooners get back the ball, and Penn State again drives down only to come up empty. Man, Maka thought it was good. Times the officials will miss those. Sooners just go to the run looking to make that clock tick. And also got a fumble on a punt return. Spencer Tillman working to stay in bounds. He does not. Goes out of bounds. But in the end, with great defense, Oklahoma appears ready to prevail and win the national title. A head time given. Lydell Carr. 152 to go in the Orange Bowl. Oklahoma. That far away from the national championship. Back to the run go the Sooners and they break a big one. Off and running is Lydell Carr. And he is going to go the distance. Lydell Carr is in standing up. And the national championship with certainty now belongs to Coach Switzer and his Sooners. 142 to play and they own it. 61 yard touchdown run by Lydell Carr. His 19th carry of the ball game. Joe Paterno said we want to. Lasher spins one up. Boy, that's no good. Could care less. 142 to play with a 25 to 10 lead for the Sooners. It hurts with all that work and all that effort. While on the other side, the jubilation of Oklahoma is something to behold. Players jumping up and down as Penn State runs it back, reverse with the ball. Ray Roundtree, but there's a Sooner right there to get him. And on the second half tonight, Penn State had their chances. They had possessions of five minutes and 58 seconds. Penn State almost out of time and out of luck as Kisner. Dumps one off. Manoa takes a stick. And the game clock continues to. The guys getting their stuff together. It'd be a pretty good party going a little later. It's grasp. And last year, this team was six and five. Blown out at the close of the season by Notre Dame and Pittsburgh. From the ashes, they rose up to have a number one ranked team, but not a national championship. And he's got a lot of good players for next year. Oklahoma fans up and chanting as Kisner drops to throw, puts one up. It's caught out to the 23 yard line. Another throw, another catch. The countdown to a national championship for Oklahoma. Coming down with the ball is Daryl Giles. Only Big A team in bowl competition this year to win. Colorado lost, Nebraska lost, and Oklahoma State lost. Only fitting that another big play by the defense, Liddell Glenn, a junior cornerback, runs it back, and he almost took it the distance as he's down with three seconds to play. This will do it. The capper on a national championship season for the Sooners of Oklahoma. Oklahoma 25, Penn State 10, and Coach Switzer goes out of victor in a national championship coach. You see what he said? You can read his lips. Way to go defense. Way to go defense. So how do you vote an MVP for the entire defensive performance against Penn State tonight?